So I was looking at the win rates of each of the runes at MSI so far, and a couple things stood out to me here. I saw the Gathering Storm win rate all the way up at 64% and Scorch down at 33%. Now I figured, that's really odd because these runes are supposed to be interchangeable with each other. They're in the same tree and at the same tier of the tree, so why is one so much higher than the other? I immediately looked at how many times had they been picked. I mean, if one of them's only pinned and picked like two or three times, then the numbers don't really mean anything. Here we see, Gathering Storm has been picked 50 times and Scorch has been picked 46. Now those aren't small numbers. I mean, realistically, we want a sample size of 30 to achieve normal distribution, and we have well over that. So clearly it's some other reason that's causing this massive discrepancy in win rates between these two runes. Lucky for us, we have a great mind like Freak in the scene. Now Freak told me that the wins by RNG don't actually mean anything because they're essentially free wins. So I'm going to take the useful end of what Freak said here and check how many of these wins were actually by a Dom 1 in RNG. I mean, if RNG is the only team playing Gathering Storm, obviously the win rate is going to be higher than Scorch. Here we can see that both runes have been picked quite a bit by pretty much every single team. I mean, RNG does have a number more picks on Gathering Storm than Scorch, but they also have a much higher win rate. I mean, you can see here, every single team in this except for IW has a higher win rate when they play with Gathering Storm than they do with Scorch. It's only IW with their one win the entire tournament, and that happened to come on a Scorch game, so they have a higher win rate with Scorch. So with this, I figured, maybe it's not that the runes are being picked more, maybe it's who are these runes being picked against. Here I've plotted the win rates when the runes are being picked against each team, and how well they're do performing when they have to face those runes. And with this, you can see that every single team in this tournament has either a higher or an equal win rate against Scorch than against Gathering Storm. And I want to note here that, yes, each one of these individual teams has a small sample size for games, but the fact that every single team is following the exact same trend is quite telling in this situation. Now, what do these numbers actually mean? I mean, can we definitively say that Gathering Storm is performing just better than Scorch and that you should always pick Gathering Storm over Scorch? So, kind of. We can actually show and say throughout this tournament, with these confidence intervals, that Gathering Storm is performing better than Scorch throughout the entire tournament. I'm not sure who's doing the analysis for these teams and why they're still letting people pick Scorch, but it's very clearly doing much worse than Gathering Storm. Thanks for coming here and checking out my rant. Please feel free to check out more videos here, and thanks for taking the time to watch this.